I have a an action in my stream robot setup that I've had forever that basically just plays a random toot sound. And it's used all the time. I have it on a timer. I also have a channel point reward for it. It's been around in my channel forever. It's really great. It's It was really easy to set up this way. You go to core, you go to sounds, and you go to play sounds and folder. And then you choose the folder and it'll list all the stuff. And that works great. The, the nice thing about that is that when I wanted to add new sounds, I could just drop them in that folder and they would just get added automatically. However, there isn't enough control. so. A different way of having one action play one of many sounds is we're going to go to the action itself and click random action and what this will do is it will instead of running through each sub action sequentially it will just randomly choose one of those sub actions so what I can do is I can then go back to core and sounds and then just a single play sound instead of the play sound from folder and then I want to select one of the sound files. I don't want it to finish playing before it continues because I want this to be able to be spammable. Okay, so play sound at 100%. The added benefit here is that I will have volume control for each individual sound in case I need to equalize them <laughs> against each other. We're, uh, we're equalizing the volume of farts over here in the player's channel. So now that that's set up, I'm going to duplicate it um, a few times. We're just going to test with like two or three for now. So um, for each of these duplicates, I'm just opening it and changing the file that it, it is choosing. So that now when we're done, we will have each of the first four of those files. And since our action is set to random, you can see in the list under options that it has this RA now. So if I test it now, that was double raspberry fart. That was bugle boy fart. That's Chewbacca part. Let me test again. Oh, and there's the awkward part. So it's just randomly playing one of them. Perfect. The benefit here is that with these random actions, they have this weight. So right now they're all set to 0, 0.0. If they're all set to 0, then they will all be weighted equally. But what you can do is override this. I could give this first one 0.7, and then for the other ones, let's call it one each down right down here um, so I'm adding 0 0.1 to each so in total it will add up to a, a full one so each of these weights is going to be a, a fraction so now what I expect is that this awkward part should be weighted at 0 0.7 so it should happen 70% of the time and then the other of these three should each only happen 10% of the time <laughs> So it took like five tests to get to one of the others. So that's about right. That, that feels good. It smells terrible. <laughs> anyway, we want, there's 32 files. We want, so we want to split it. If it were just that, it would be one divided by 32. 0.03125 each. What we want to do is make one that's like 10 times less likely and then one that's like five times less likely. So we want one that is like 0 0.003, write this down, three minus 009. The one that's gonna be super rare is gonna be 0 0.003. The other one is gonna be 0 0.01. And the rest will all be 0 0.0329. So I wanna make this one that I'm gonna duplicate a bunch, 0 0.0329. So I'm going to duplicate this ooh, 30 times, 29 times. So copy 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, So there should be 30 of those. So these should all be at 0 0.0329. The total of which should, a little, should slightly exceed 1, which we don't want. What I need to do is go through each of these and start selecting the other files. We will eventually test them all for volume and stuff, but this way we have them separate and I can exert that level of control over them instead.
That's that. So now we should, when we test it, really, this one should have much less weight than the rest. That's really what we're going for. We can like infinitely tweak the weights and the individual volumes and stuff. Setting it up this way, while it, it takes much more effort to set it up initially, and when it takes a little bit more effort to add new sounds when I want to, this allows me much more fine-grained control over the volume and frequency of each fart sound, which is really important. So, there you have it.